Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating cheap IoT devices with your favorite home automation ecosystem. Our family is on the Apple ecosystem and we know very well that these devices are hard to get and they are expensive. So my videos is all about using simple installation step-by-step -step guides using platforms like Hoops or Homebridge and integrating devices from Xiaomi, Zemi Smart, Sonoff, Yeelight, or SmartThings. Now, I get all my devices from AliExpress. They do take its time to reach me, around 60 to 90 days. But the most important key is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. And you all have seen that from my Plex and Virtual Radio Station plugin videos. If you haven't, please do so. Anyways, in today's video, we will look into installing the Google Smart Home app plugin and integrate it with the Apple HomeKit using just one value and configure the same. Now, for who exactly is this plugin? This plugin is basically for those who have two voice assistants at home. You never know, there are people. For those who are Android users and for those who just want to have a cross-platform integration between Google and Apple. So basically, you configure all of your devices in Hoops or Homebridge and later push all of this information to Google Smart Home app using just a token value. Now remember, you will not be able to pull any information from Google Smart Home app into Hoops or Homebridge. You're just pushing information that's already been installed in your Hoops, be it accessories. Now you can't push any sensor information or sensor devices to Google Smart Home app as it does not currently recognize sensors like motion, temperature, or occupancy. So to have this plugin installed and configured, you will need one, all of your devices already installed in Hoops or Homebridge. In my case, I'm using Hoops. Two, you will need a Google Smart Home device like the Nest Mini or the Nest Hub, or maybe the just the Smart Home app. In my case, I'm using the Nest Hub. Three, you will need a Google email ID to access a uh, home bridge in the configuration and to provide a token. Okay, so like I always say, let's not waste time and let's dive into the installation. Let's log into the Hoops platform and clicking on the plugin section, search and look for GSH. Uh, you can do this in Hoops as well as home bridge. So I've already installed the plugin. I've already downloaded and installed the plugin. And let's get into the uh, configuration. So in this case, we will click on configuration. And the first thing you want to do is link the account. That's, that's all we need to do in this plugin installation. So let's link account. Login with Google. Or you can do it with your GitHub ID. Say confirm. Wait for it. And if you see over here, it's already linked to your Google uh, account as well as provided a token. Okay. So yes, we have linked the account to Google. So now let's jump into the Android device or your iOS device, open up the Google Smart Home app and integrate HomeBridge with the service and you will see it will start automatically pulling all of your devices that you have already installed in Hoops or Homebridge. All right, so let's do that. Let's open up the Google Smart Home app. Let's hit add, set up a device, have something already set up. Let's look for Homebridge. Let's click on it. And it will take you to the authentication page. Log in with the same ID that you used with your Hoops or Homebridge platform. And it's linking your account. Give it a couple of seconds. So there we are. We have the Homebridge devices already installed. It's showing 16 devices. 
let's go back so you can see over here we've got all of our devices showing up over here and there are a lot there are a lot so now what you can do is select device by device and add them to your rooms now but what if you have devices that you want to create a filter and send a certain accessory to google smart Om app okay uh, to do that very simple we need to configure hoops and home bridge uh, uh, which devices need to go, go to this google smart home app and let's do that right now so let's jump into the page to fill in the information that you for the accessories that you do not want to appear in the google smart home app you've got to fill in the accessory sections with the names of the devices that are in your accessory section so these are all of my accessories and then you have just have to select them and send them and save it and send them all to the google smart home app in homebridge all you got to do is just add in the accessories and the name of the accessory and save the plugin so in my case let's go back to the plugin configuration and i'll add in the accessories that i need to filter to not appear in the google smart home app so in this case i already know so i'm just going to copy and paste all right these are the ones i don't want to appear in the google smart home uh, app and i'm going to save And once the configuration is saved, let's jump back into the Google Smart Home app and let's get a refresh. So if you see, we still have the 16 devices. It just takes a couple of seconds for it to update in the Google Smart Home app. If it doesn't refresh, let's go back and relink the account. So here you can see after reconnecting back to our account, we see now there are only eight devices over here. Enable is my Bose system, my lampshade from the Samsung Smarting Hub, uh, a cheap uh, magic uh, platform uh, LED strip, uh, and uh, the Samsung TV uh, t uh, mute switch is already enabled in my Google Smart Home app. So basically in the app, the only configuration we did was the token and the accessory filters. So we've got the Google Smart Home app uh, configured. Uh, we've pushed the right accessories that we needed from Hoops to Google Smart Home app. Now let's have my assistant, Liam, to do a demo, uh, calling out to the Google Smart Home app to turn off and turn on the lampshade that's with my SmartThings app connected to my Hoops but I'll have Google to call that to turn it off and to turn it on. All right, so let's get there. Hi guys, so today my name is Liam and today we're going to do a demonstration. It's our work from the Google Home. And today we're going to do the Google Home plugin. So, hey Google, turn off lampshade. When it's safer, Google, for turn on, for, for turn on lab shade. See, it comes out. Hey Google, turn on lab shade. When we say for Google, turn on lab shade, it comes back. Bye, see you. Now it's time out. Finally. There we are, collaboratively, we have installed and configured the Google Smart Home plugin with Apple Home Kit using just one value. And in this way, you will find ways to integrate all of your smart devices with Hoops or HomeBridge and Apple Home Kit. It gets more and more interesting. I started like that and for sure, doing all of these plugins, you are going to get onto the same path as well. So what's next? A couple of days back, I did run a poll in Reddit 
And uh, one of the favorite plugins that I got feedback for to do is a Synology plugin for Synology and the P-hole uh, as well. So that's what I'm planning to do uh, next week and that's what I'm planning to release as well. Now, to keep all of this going, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. That's the real motivator. That's the real driver for me. And just in case, if you like how Hoop works and you want to get your hands on one of these devices, there are links in the description. Uh, you can uh, click on them um, and, and get your hands on one of these fantastic products. It really helps me as well to keep this channel uh, up and running. And not forgetting about the talented developers out there who make all this possible by releasing these fantastic plugins and give us the same rich home automation experience by spending less. So until the next time, take care, stay safe, have a nice day, ciao, bye, and happy automation. Go. 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 Go.